Hey, right into it. I'm watching Broken YouTube Secret Revealed by Upper Echelon Gamers. And he said that um, Spiffing Brit made a video on it. They're talking about... Well, you've probably already seen it already. Or seen the posts they've done in the, the community thing. Oh, look. Down there. There's the Spiffing Brits video. Yeah. The YouTube algorithm glitch. The secret YouTube exploit by the Spiffing Brit. And they're, they're both saying how corporations use that to boost their own views. The most likely fix I see YouTube doing for that bug exploit glitch is simply making it so that you, me, people who independently make videos on YouTube, much like I'm doing right now, won't be able to make community posts. Or they'll put in a, um, <clears throat> a sub-algorithm that says, oh, only people who, um, fit this criteria, like, uh, the hidden channel ratings, forget which YouTube channel actually found out about that. Nerd City, was it? I'm not too certain about that. You're gonna have to do some fact-checking on that one. Well, I say fact, but never mind. You're gonna have to look into that one. I think it was Nerd City. I'm about 89% sure it was. So the most likely fix is that they're going to make it so that independent content creators cannot use it or it doesn't work as efficiently and effectively as it currently is and has been for independent content creators. That's the most likely fix for it. Well, either one of those. Because the mega corporations still want people to buy stuff. Um, in conjunction with that, because there's multiple things going on other than just what's going on in the digital space. Um, what I'm about to say needs to go out to the companies. If you really do want people to buy products and everything. Uh, get your lobbyists to stop pushing for more lockdowns and stricter mandates for this virus outbreak and everything. You're going to have to ease up on that. All the, all the policy makers and everything. You're going to have to ease up on that because if you want, if you want people to make this um, economy this Ponzi scheme, this pyramid scam you've got going, continue to work for you indefinitely, which is what it looks like you want. You're, you're going to have to let people be people. Because there's an old parable about the king at the beach. The takeaway is the, the harder you squeeze a bit of water in your hand, the more it just slides between your fingers. So with uh, people's trust in whatever company or organization you're with, the more you try to squeeze it, the more it slips between your fingers. It's like water. It's a soft data point you need to accept as a data point. And... With all the people losing their homes, not being able to make ends meet because the governments want infinite monetization. They just want to tax everyone into oblivion. Yeah. Yeah, we could go on for quite some time with that. Suffice it to say, taxation was a temporary government construct that was meant to help 
during one of the world wars. Taxation needs to be abolished. Right now proves that taxation needs to go the fuck away. Uh, <laughs> bureaucrats, uh, lobbyists, politicians, you're not going to like it, but you're going to have to get a real fucking job. Sitting on your ass in permanent vacation telling everyone else what to do isn't a job. Being a leader is not a job. It's a burden and a responsibility. That all ties parallel into what's going on. At the surface level, this YouTube algorithm glitch seems like, oh, what do they care? They just want corporate money. Deeper than that, it's the whole financial system. It's the social uh, and economic infrastructure for all of humanity. Where do you think all those products like your laptops, cell phones come from? They're not made in America. They're made in Japan, China, Taiwan, Korea, etc., etc. So, everyone on the planet, you're in this together. And this is a symptom of that symptom that it's a symptom of a symptom of a symptom that goes back to a core cause. But anyway, back on to the surface level subject matter of this glitch that they're calling in YouTube. I don't have 1,000 people who have chosen to click subscribe to my channel, so I can't use it at all. I've already left a comment on Spiffing Brit and Upper Echelon Gamers channel in that videos they've made, stating as such, and asking, do you care to help? Also, I left a couple of other things in the comment that I left on Upper Echelon Gamers uh, video. Now, <clears throat> where do I go with this train of thought? I had a divergence, then a convergence. Now I need to get to a point and close out the video. Mm hmm. Yes. What's the best thing I can say here? I had the idea to ramble on about this because it's it's a po topic that just popped up. It's going to be relevant for maybe a week. And then when there's an update on the situation, it'll be relevant again for a brief week or so then. But it does at least hint at the underlying causes for a vast number of problems in today's world. It does show because the digital space is an all if null, all if null is a mathematic term, for society, globally, holistically. I'm using that mathematic term appropriately because nothing outside of theoretical mathematics is infinite. So, all if null, it applies, but provincially. Yeah, I shouldn't use these big words. A lot of people don't understand them. It applies with certain conditions. That's a better way of saying it. Because everybody who's interacting in this online digital space is able to do so nearly instantly. It's that fast. And everyone's able to do so in mass. So, subjects get... Um, exponentially more exposure than they would normally get 
and they get it exponentially faster than they would normally get it. So, from a psychosomatic standpoint, it's a great tool to use to see what type of information you can get out of it. And it also lets everyone know how much information you have, how diversified your knowledge is. Well, I may be far above average, but me making a video on it and stating bit by bit every last single thing that goes into what's happening with that particular glitch, as that's being called on YouTube, would take hours, possibly even days, to explain all of the nuances and facets of not, not even the soft data, but the hard data points. That's another thing. It would take weeks to go over all the soft data. But anyway, yeah, I did make this video because I wanted to attract viewers to my channel and grow because I can't get a fucking job. <laughs> Not right now. Not with all the stuff going on. I couldn't even before then, and I made effort for five years. I couldn't even get a job teaching English to people in China online. And all that required was a basic internet connection. No explanation was given. They weren't even going to train me on the job, as it were. So, doing YouTube videos, that's what I'm down to. Also, I wanted to point out that it's not just what Upper Echelon is saying, or just what the Spiffing Brit is saying. Yes, those things apply. They're not standalone things by themselves. They apply. They're part of the situation holistically, as is uh, the soft data points that I pointed out. So, companies are using it because they're not making as much money as they want to. That's got a lot more behind it than just that. But suffice it to say, a lot of the bureaucracy needs to loosen up. People need to be allowed to simply be people. That includes people making YouTube videos and actually producing content that is far better edited and constructed than mine. And people just like me doing some odd vlog and some random nonsensical whimsy and games from time to time. Using what we have to do what we can. So, everyone's in this together, whether they like it or not, whether they accept the truth of it or not. Um, what else is there to say? Other than, why, why corporations, why would you go off and uh, try to strong-arm people out? Or YouTube, why would you capitulate to strong arm tactics or upper echelon and spiffing brit um there's more people in far worse situations than i'm in but i'm not in a situation where i have the uh resources to help them so I've reached out and asked for help again. 
And now I'm just making a vlog ranting on, well not ranting, gibbering on aimlessly about it. <laughs> I've lost um, focus on on the the core points of what I was talking about. So I'm gonna end this video and stop ranting. I mean, rambling on. Till next time. Bye.